Okay, so I'll give a brief uh, introduction. Welcome to our very first virtual poetry competition. This is the first time we've held this. I did not realize that when we applied for the Emirates Literary Festival that we had students who are so motivated and so enthusiastic about reciting poems. And there's one thing I'd like to say, the poems they're reciting are exactly as they were written by the poet. So without much further ado, I'd like to call on Ms. Habiba Ashraf from grade 2A to recite Don't by Michael Rosen. Don't. Don't do, don't do, don't do that. Don't pull faces, don't tease the cat. Don't pick your ears, don't be rude at school. Who do they think I am? Some kind of fool? Yeah. One day they'll say, don't put toffee in my coffee. Don't pour gravy on the baby. Don't put in his ear. Don't stick your toes up his nose. Don't put confetti on your spaghetti. And don't squash peas on your knees. Don't put ants in your pants. Don't put mustard on the custard. Don't chuck jelly at the telly. And don't throw at a computer. Don't throw food at a computer. Don't what? Don't throw food at the computer. Don't what? Don't throw food at a computer. Who do they think I am? Some kind of fool? Excellent. Thank you. Yay, great job. Well done. Really nice. Bravo, so Diba. Can we have Salim? Salim Al Kabi from 3A. Spaghetti, spaghetti. Your wonderful stuff. I love your spaghetti. I can't get enough. Are covered with sauce and you're sprinkled with cheese. Spaghetti, spaghetti. Oh, give me some, please. Spaghetti, spaghetti. Piled high in a mound. You wiggle, you wriggle, you squiggle around. There's slurpy spaghetti all, all over my plate. Spaghetti, spaghetti, I think you are great. By Jack Brolutsky. Very good, Selim. Let's give Selim good a job, good job. Wow. So next we have Amanda in 3B with her point crocodile. Mm. Hi, my name is Amanda and I'm from grade 3B. Today I'm going to cite the poem titled Crocodile by Roald Dahl. No animal is as hot as bad as Crocky Rock the crocodile. On Saturdays, he likes to crunch six easy children for his lunch. And he especially enjoys just three of each. We girls, three boys. He smears the boys to make them hot with mustard from the mustard pot. But mustard doesn't go with girls. It tastes all wrong with plates and curls. With them, what goes extremely well is butterscotch and caramel. It's such a super marvelous treat when boys are hot and girls are sweet. At least that Crookie's point of view. He ought to know he had a few. That's all for now. Time for bed. Lie down and rest your sleepy head. Shh, listen, what's that I hear? Galump bit softly up the stair. Go lock the door and fetch my gun. Go on, child, hurry, quickly run. No, stop, stand back. He's coming in. Oh, look at that greasy, green skin. The shiny teeth, the green smile. It's Crooky Walk, the crocodile. Ah! Thank you. Well done, Amanda. <laughs> Great job, Amanda. That was very, fabulous. Very confidently. Thank you. The so next we have Laura from 4A. Yes, miss. My name is Laura and I'm from 4A. Please, Mrs. Butler, this boy that I can do, keep coming to my work, miss. What shall I do? Go on, set in the hole, dear. Go on, set in the sink. Take your books on the roof, my lamb. Do whatever you think. 
Please, Mrs. Butler, this boy that I can do keeps coming, keeps taking my rubber mess. What shall I do? Keep it in your hand, dear. Hide the double vest. Swallow it if you like, my love. Do what you think is best. Please, Mrs. Butler, this boy that I can do keeps calling me rude names, miss. What shall I do? Rock yourself in the cupboard, dear. Run away to sea. Do whatever you can, my flower, but don't ask me. Well done, Laura. Excellent. Great job, Laura. I love that poem. I really do. <laughs> you did a great job. The next we have Noor from 4A. Noor is entering for the Amrit Literary Festival and uh, she is reciting Dung by Michael Rosen. Hi, my name is Noor Amit Amish and I'm nine years old. I'm, for, I'm from 4A and I'm in Lima International and Worship School. And today I'll be presenting you a poem by Michael Rosen. Don't! Don't do! Don't do that! Don't pull faces! Don't tease the cat! Don't pick your ear! Don't be rude at school! Who you think I am? Some kind of fool? One day they'll say to put top in my coffee. Don't put gravy on the baby. Don't put the ear. Don't stick your toes up your nose. Don't put ants in your pants. Don't put mustard in the custard. Don't chuck jelly at the telly. Don't throw fruit at computer. Don't what? Don't throw fruit at computer. Don't what? Don't throw fruit at computer. Who do you think I am? Some kind of fool? Very good, very Thank good, God. Noor. Excellent. Well done. The story behind Noor is her sister recited this very same poem for the Emirates Festival, and she'd already learnt it last year. Ah. <laughs> so excited to take part. Thank wow, you. Well done, Noor. Thank you. Great job, Noor. I would be so proud. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Um, I'd like to thank everyone for coming. I think we need to give uh, the others who didn't make it, I will give them a chance to uh, recite their poem to me personally. And then I will send my marking for moderation and we will announce the winner on Thursday. Thank you ever so much, Miss Rana, for, for organising this and for working with the students. And again, young the, the young people were fantastic. So regardless of what the marks say, you all deserve a round of applause. You're brilliant. The winners from this competition, the names will be entered for the Emirates Literary Festival competition next year. Brilliant. I'd like to cool. so I'd like to thank you all for attending and uh, for supporting to. Miss Sarah, Miss Maggie, and to Miss Yasmin, and to all the parents who have shown great enthusiasm and uh, great interest. So thank you very much, and this is goodbye from me. Thank you. Bye. Remember, I remember last year how nervous everyone was, but you, every single one of you, was brave to get up yes. and speak in front of people. I can tell that you guys practice so much. So I'm very proud of you and you should be proud of yourself because how many kids are here? There's not very many. So it takes a lot of courage to do it. So great job, guys.